welcome back to my channel. So today's look is on this really pretty Valentine's Day look that I'm wearing right now. Um, I really hope that you guys enjoy this tutorial. It's a little bit different than what I usually do on my channel. Let me know what you guys think and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye! Alright guys, so I'm starting off with moisturizer. I'm using this Emberlease moisturizer which is amazing and I'm just going to be pressing that into the skin. And then moving on to primer, I'm going to be priming my face using my favorite NYX Angel Veil Primer just all over my face to give a nice smooth surface. And then I'm going to be using this e.l.f. Zit Zapping Concealer just to conceal any pimples that I have on my chin. And then moving on to foundation, I'm using the Maybelline Dream Velvet Soft Matte Foundation. It's really nice kind of velvety finish and it blends in really nicely so I'm just going to be pressing that into my skin using a Zoeva foundation brush. I will list everything down below as always but I'm just going to press it into the skin, give myself a nice medium to full coverage. And then I'm going to move on to concealer. I'm using the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer. I'm just going to be applying this underneath the eyes as well as down the bridge of my nose, my forehead, and then also onto my chin. I'm using this as concealer as well as just, you know, highlighting the face. Nothing too crazy because it is a Valentine's Day look and you know, you don't want to look, you know, you want to look like yourself if you're going on a date or whatnot. So I'm just going to be pressing that into my skin using this Sedona concealer brush, which is my fave. And I'm just going to be using padding motions for this. I do have a coupon code with Sedona Lace. I'll leave it down below for you guys. And then I'm just going to be setting my under eye concealer using the Laura Mercier Translucent Powder. I'm going to be applying quite a bit underneath the eyes to set the concealer as well as just keep it from creasing throughout the night. And then I'm also going to throw some on my chin and my forehead. I do set the rest of my face so I just take a big fluffy brush and I just press a little bit of the powder just to set the other areas but of course not as much as the areas that I'm baking. And then for contour I'm just using Hoola Bronzer by Benefit and this Luxie contour brush and I'm just going to be contouring the hollows of my cheeks and then also the temples and the sides of my forehead. And then I'm just going to blend that all out using a bigger, fluffier brush. And then I'm just going to go ahead and start dusting away the powder using a large powder brush. I'm going to prime my lids using the e.l.f. eyelid primer. Then I'm just going to set that with this cream shade in the Tartlet in Bloom palette just to make sure my eyeshadows don't crease. And then I'm taking this medium brown shade from the palette and I'm just going to be applying that to my crease. It's going to be our transition shade for this look. And then I'm just gonna blend that out with a fluffy brush. Going in with Sweetheart, which is a nice pinkish shade, I'm just gonna add a little bit of color to the eye same area that I added the first shade. And then going in with Rebel, I'm just going to use a pencil brush and concentrate this right into the crease because this is where I'm going to um, put the cream eyeshadow right underneath. So I'm going to be just creating a nice dark, um, I'm just going to be creating a dark crease in this area. So then I'm taking this even darker shade. Same process, I'm just placing the color first with a pencil brush. And then I switch to a fluffier brush and then I just go back in and blend it all out. And I'm just going to be repeating this until it's nice and dark because I want this to be a nice and sexy Valentine's Day look. So just blending that out. And then I'm just using a cream eyeshadow to basically just cut my crease so I am using a really flat brush and I want to get as clean of a line into the crease as possible so I'm just taking my time with this and then I'm just taking the shimmery shade from the palette and just 
putting it over top. And then I'm just taking that pencil brush just to clean up um, the crease line. And then I'm gonna pop on some Violet Voss glitter. This is optional, but I think it looks really cute with the look. It's just a little touch, so I just pop that on. And then moving on to liner, I am using liquid liner. This is the NYC Matte Liquid Liner. It's really good, it's only like two or three dollars, I believe. I really like using liquid liners when I use glitter because I feel like it glides on easier than gel. So I'm just doing my normal wing. Of course it's optional if you guys want to rock this look without a wing. You definitely could. I think cut creases look really nice um, without wing liner. So. So for the under eye, just take the, the warm brown shade, put it all over as well as the sweetheart and then just take Rebel and put it into the outer corner of your bottom lash line. I'm just popping on some mascara and then I am using these Shop by La Voss new faux mink eyelashes. They're amazing. I'll link them down below. And then to prep for my highlight, I'm using the City Color Cosmetics Cream Highlighting Wand. And then going straight into blush, my Milani favorite, Luminoso, onto the apples of the cheeks. And then for my powder highlight, I am using Laura Geller Gilded Honey Highlighter. I'm just going to place it on the high points of my cheekbones, above my brow, the bridge of my nose, and then also my cupid's bow. And then I'm just taking a little bit of the Anastasia Cream Contour Kit onto my fingers. The reason why I'm doing it this way is because I've seen this technique used a lot because um, it uses the warmth of your fingers to blend in the product. So I'm just adding a little bit of dimension and then moving straight onto lips. I'm using the Ofra Cosmetics Liquid Lipstick in Manhattan. It's a gorgeous plum mauve shade. And then that completes this look. I really hope that you guys enjoyed. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. I do have some more Valentine's Day looks coming, so don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!